I decided to come to Hopkins because of the single board hematology fellowship tract. Um, I knew from residency that I had a dedicated interest in non-malignant hematology, specifically hemostasis and thrombosis, and I thought that the specialty and expertise um, at, at Hopkins would provide me with that training. The program does offer a lot of flexibility depending on the fellow's interests. So a fellow can train either in, um, in just hematology or oncology, or a fellow does have the ability to train in both as a, as a double boarder. My interest in hematology started in residency. I've always um, loved making uh, and complex diagnoses um, and, and looking at patients from very multifaceted angles. Um, the blood seems so fundamental to, to medicine and, and clinical care and the ability to meet a patient and then take their clinical history and then immediately go to the lab and look at their blood under the microscope and have a better sense of, of, of what's going on uh, has always fascinated me. So when I first came to Hopkins, I, I didn't know exactly what to expect, but I, I found it to be an incredibly collaborative um, environment, uh, both at the level of, of uh, interacting with my co-fellows, but also um, with faculty. Within the hematology department, there's you know, almost daily uh, meetings uh, to discuss patient care and that are directed at fellow learning. I see my career developing, um, caring for patients with a wide variety of non-malignant hematologic disorders, um, but with a specific interest in patients with disorders in hemostasis and thrombosis. Um, I also hope to, to um, participate in translational research where I can um, take uh, you know, what I'm doing in the lab uh, and, and provide that, that better care to my patients.